Hey guys, so I know it's been a while and I've been really busy, had a lot going on. I actually just passed my board exam, so now I'm a registered nutritionist dietitian. And now that all that's over, I have time now to get back to doing videos, something that I love because I'm officially unemployed. Bully needs a job! So the next three shoe reviews that I'll be doing are actually all connected because they're all collaborations from the brand Fear of God by Jerry Lorenzo. So I was first supposed to do the Fear of God ones, which is the most famous Fear of God collaboration with Nike. It's actually my brother who was the one who copped the shoe and I was just gonna borrow it for a review. But then I decided I was gonna do a review on the Fear of God Skyline 2 first, which is the shoe that I had because I was going to sell the shoe Bully needs a job! So I thought of doing a review on it so that I had a little bit of remembrance after I sold the shoe. Alright, don't listen to me. But then one late night as I was scrolling through the Facebook market, as any avid shoe addict would do, I came across this particular pair, which I really wasn't expecting, especially on Facebook market, at such a decent price and in such pristine condition, it's practically brand new, that I honestly couldn't pass up on it. Bully needs a job! And what makes this shoe so special is because it is one of Jerry Lorenzo's first collaborations when he was just starting Fear of God. So you can say that this shoe is actually one of the shoes that started it all. And with that said, after I copped the shoe, I thought of it as the perfect opportunity to make this my introductory video to all the Fear of God collaboration shoes that I want to review. So without further ado, let's get it started with the Fear of God band collaboration of the Era 95 DX in the red corduroy colorway. Fear of God is a streetwear label made by one of the most influential designers of our time, Jerry Lorenzo. As the name implies, inspiration is drawn from religious influences as well as combining 90s grunge and hip-hop influences in his fashion. It revolves around the use of elongated and oversized silhouettes to give a more comfortable, laid-back, relaxed, and lived-in vibe. Jerry Lorenzo rose to fame alongside other famous faces of streetwear fashion such as Virgil Abloh, Heron Preston, and Kanye West. Personally, what I like about him is his unique way of expressing his influences on complex subjects such as art, music, and fashion into something so simple as to how a plain white t-shirt is measured, cut, and sewn. By now, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we all know his collaborations with Nike and Converse, but I would like to think that none of those collaborations would have been possible without his first collaborations with the famous California lifestyle store PacSun and the famous skateboarding brand Bands. A lot like the Nike collaborations, Jerry Lorenzo was given the opportunity to take his Fear of God branding and combine it with some of Ben's classic silhouettes, such as the Mountain Editions, the Slip-Ons, the Skate Highs, and my personal favorite, the Era 95s and the Era 95s DX. This version isn't actually too far from the original Era 95 DX in the OG red and white colorway, with of course the details that scream that it is a collaboration with Fear of God. Instead of having the cotton canvas material all over the upper, the Fear of God version separate each panel with different materials as well. The toolbox and the heel are paneled in this plush corduroy material in this beautiful scarlet red which can also be seen on the suede tongue of the shoe. The traditional cotton canvas does make an appearance on the medial side of the shoe, the outer rim of the sock liner, and the upper part where the eyelets are placed. But instead of plain white like in the OG pair, those parts are covered in the signature Fear of God pentagram logo in black and white. You've got some leather on the inner of the sock liner and on the heel on the insole where the Vans logo can be found. And you can find the FOG Fear of God 2017 label right above the sizing label under the tongue. And last but not least, you got the traditional rubber vulcanized midsole with the Vans off the wall logo on the heel and the classic gum outsole which you can see on most Vans since this is still a skateboarding shoe. As for fit, I can say that this shoe is true to size, but do feel free to go to any van store near you and try on other colorways of the Aaron 95 DX before you go out and purchase this one. Now for the part where I give my thoughts and honest opinion on the shoe. Off the bat, I am a big fan of Jerry Lorenzo. I love essentials, I love Fear of God, and I am a huge fan of his Aaron 95 pieces, especially the black and white Aaron 95 DX. That one was my favorite because that one is definitely the easiest one to style, especially when compared 
compared to Fear of God piece with the regular Era 95s. That one's a little bit too much for me since it is bombarded with the Fear of God pentagram logo. But again, nothing new. Like I say with all my sneaker reviews, this one is definitely better in person. I fell in love with it instantly the moment that I saw it in hand. The mixtures of textures, the corduroy, the suede, the canvas. It's just way up there compared to the quality of any other fan shoe that I've come across. Of course, it is a Fear of God collaboration after all. The one problem that I did find, and as you can see on this shoe, is that the suede does bleed onto the white laces. So if you have the shoe, you'll probably end up having to wash the laces now and then, or just swap out the white laces with the black laces that come with the shoe, and you'd be good to go. Other than that, it is such a beautiful shoe. Everything ties in together, yet it still pops in such a nice way. And best of all, another reason why I love this shoe so much was the price that I was able to get it for. I bought it less than half than the price that you could see on StockX for a brand new one. And for the condition that it's in, it was so hard not to get it. Aside from the bleeding that you can see on the laces, it's practically a brand new shoe. And I found it in the local Facebook market of all places. This is definitely a point for me in my sneaker game that I'm really happy about, especially since it is such a pivotal piece of history in the rise of Jerry Lorenzo and Fear of God. That is it for this video. What do you guys think of the shoe? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you like other Fear of God collaborations more? Do you like the Nike collaboration more? Do you like the Vans collaboration more? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions as well. Follow me on Instagram at LB Peralta. I am a bit more personal there and usually you can find announcements on what shoe I'm gonna review next or what shoe that I just recently caught before the review comes out just like this one. I post stories almost every day and I post pictures of my travels, my dogs, my personal life. If you're interested in that, go follow my Instagram. Go watch my previous YouTube video while waiting for the next review coming out which will probably be the Fear of God Skylines. I just posted my most recent trip out of the country to Japan. It was a weird one. Tried a whole bunch of different foods and drinks and went to the famous Shibuya crossings and met Hachiko. All that good stuff. Go check out that video or check out all my other videos on my channel. I have more sneaker reviews, I have more travel vlogs, I have challenge vlogs, personal vlogs, anything and everything in between. You can find it on my channel. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys when I see you. Bye guys!